to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. It's time to do more map tactics. And today, let's do the new map, Paris. Ah, buddy. Okay, so this is Paris. And Klaus has played this uh, map a few times now and has learned that basically there's two different kinds of games you can have on this map. Uh, there's the hide and seek, wait and see game up in the north here. Okay, and what's uh, interesting is this is a city map, but the northern area here is lots of bushes. There's bushes here, here, on this corner, here, here, and it's symmetrical on the other side, the same on this corner, here, back here, and here. And usually what happens, Klaus has noticed that the people that spawn on the west here, uh, lots of players like to rush up and sit in these bushes. Some like to sit in this bush. Some are brave and make it to this bush. And uh, same with the players that start on the east side. Uh, they get to this bush, and uh, some are brave and get to this bush or sit back here. And then the waiting game starts in the north here. Okay, so let's take a close, uh, closer look at these bushes. And look at the minimap. There's an IS-3. Pig Dog is in an IS-3 sitting right over there. Klaus is in the RU-251 uh, German Tier 8 uh, scout tank and has four skill crew with optics. Okay, now this is the first bush people like to sit in. Look, you, you can't see all the way over there to where that IS-3 is. You can see the field, but you cannot see uh, in the cover. And then there's other bushes here. People like to sit in these bushes. Look at Klaus's view range circle on the map there. So from this bush, well, you really can't see much. Uh, but let's move up to the uh, aggressive bush. Some people are brave and like to come up to this bush. And let's see what happens here. So. Okay, uh, cannot spot the IS-3 because this little terrain uh, is blocking Klaus's view, right? So you can see people here and here, but not where the IS-3 is. Try a different angle here. Cannot see the IS-3 because there is terrain in between. The enemy bushes act as uh, cover. So let's just move up here, show you the rest of the north part of this map, and Klaus will zip across to the enemy bushes and uh, even though you think you're out in the open and uh, can detect everyone there that's how close had to get to detect the is3 sitting in the open there's pig dog right there so sitting in these bushes in the north you really only see stupids that drive out in the open and that's why in the north it's usually the waiting game and uh, usually what happens is uh, the first stupid moron that gets impatient that's sitting here says okay I've had enough of this and he starts driving forward uh, and then everyone here says oh look there's a stupid and they shoot him and he's dead okay and then the waiting game starts again everyone's behind their bushes they're all concealed and the time goes by and then someone on the other side gets impatient and says well okay uh, we killed them they're probably gone and he drives down here into the open and then everyone sees him and shoots him and says uh, there's a stupid, let's shoot him, and, and then he's dead. And then the waiting game starts again. <laughs> and it's very hard on the north side here to push across because this is all open in the middle. There are some uh, uh, features here like this bump and terrain here and these uh, buildings that you can take cover. So you can be aggressive and get to a spot like this and shoot uh, the, the bush campers. Uh, but it's difficult to push across this open area. So this, this northern area becomes uh, the waiting game area, the symmetrical waiting game. And then the other part of the map, basically, is the city map here. And what usually happens in the games Klaus has played is uh, Klaus notices people that spawn on the west side start to drive down this road. And usually you get all the way to this corner before you spot the enemy and then you spot them over there. And people that spawn on the east drive down this road, and usually you get either to this corner or behind these buildings, and you spot the enemy, and, and there's a big fight here. Now this is the first three-dimensional fight in World of Tanks, and it's, it's, very, it's a great place to fight, and what happens is if you make it to this corner, you can shoot people that, this is a bridge, and people on the high area here, on the same level as you, but then there's people below you here. There's an underpass there. So it's three-dimensional. And the same with people that come and get behind this building or this building. You can shoot the people on your level here or down below. This is a low area. 
So this is the first 3D fight. It's where the big three-dimensional clusterfuck happens, right here. You see when you approach this corner here, uh, Klaus is talking about, look, you can shoot down the people below you and above. So you have to, uh, when you're aiming across, know that there's people below that can hit you. And if you cross this bridge, look, from this bridge, you're open to all lines of fire from the north, uh, from the east, right? Everywhere. Uh, it's, you have to think in 3D when you're playing on this corner. And there's usually lots of fighting here. And what you notice also on this map is these big uh, building blocks. All these big buildings, not a lot of small buildings, there's all these big building blocks. And they create these long sight lines. Okay, all the map, there's these big long sight lines everywhere. And uh, what's very important on this map, if you're moving around, now usually at the beginning of the game, if you, if you spawn on the east, you can make it all the way to this corner before you encounter enemy. And the same if you spawn here, you can make it all the way down to here before you encounter enemy. But once the game gets going, every time you cross one of these intersections, there's long lines of sight, okay? And uh, let's say you spawn on the east side here, you get down to this corner and you're having your three-dimensional fight over here and you decide, oh, there's, there's some enemies on the low ground and you could go around the block, right? You could go around the block here and, and shoot them. But every time you get to an intersection, you get to this intersection, well, there's a long line of sight. There could be some enemies here that are ready to shoot you or here that are ready to shoot you. So look at these intersections here. Look, you get to this intersection, there's long lines of sight that can shoot you. You make it to this intersection over here and look at this. You stop in this intersection, there's long, long lines of sight that can shoot you. You started to get the picture, look at this. Yeah? Long lines of sight. Remember that, the intersections are dangerous. Be careful when you cross or poke around these intersections. And so this map is basically uh, two different kinds of fighting. The wait and see, uh, concealment, sit in a bush fight up here and the three-dimensional clusterfuck fight down here with some smart players that go around the block to flank and get different, different lines of sight and different flanking opportunities all around this map. If you have good situational awareness and, and you know where the enemies are and you know where these lines of sight go, you can move around and go around the block and navigate this map and get lots of flanking maneuvers. Now the middle of the map here uh, is also powerful for shooting everywhere, but is open to lots of different lines of sight. So if you're sitting in the middle or up in here, uh, you can get lots of good shots at people that don't notice, but once you get noticed, there's lots of different lines of sight that all, you know, all can shoot there. So Klaus is going to be uh, spawning on the west side here, and Klaus is in a heavy tank and does not want to go sit in a bush and play the waiting game. Klaus is going to head down to the three-dimensional clusterfuck corner in the south. Let's watch. Okay, so the game has started here. Klaus is in the 112 Chinese uh, Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank and heading south to the three-dimensional clusterfuck corner. And oh, look at this. Look at the team Klaus is blessed with. The whole team is going to sit in the bushes in the north and play the waiting game. Well, this is what happens sometimes. Now, Klaus is going to go to that corner down there. Hopefully, some players go to this intersection and that intersection. On the minimap, if you're watching, to get some lines of sight. Uh, Klaus is, well, someone has to go down here. Looks like the Scorpion is moving down, and maybe the Jackson, but the whole team is going to sit up in the north. That's great. So you need lines of sight here, and here, and there. And Klaus is going to take this corner here. So let's poke around and see what happens. Now, uh, let's see. Eddie, there they are. There's the enemies, where you usually see them. And Klaus missed. <laughs> okay, so the Scorpion is looking down this road. The Jackson looking down that road. Looks like a couple of fast tanks are coming to help. And uh, yeah, Klaus got hit in the front uh, with this 1-1-12 with the armor buff and got penned, of course, and bounced on a tier 6 who was side scraping like a boss. <laughs> so a uh, pretty good start to the game. Hey, look at this. Okay, some people are coming to help. There's some enemies going to flank. 
but we have vision down those roads. There's big tanks waiting here, so Klaus is not going to poke out again. Klaus is going to go around the block and try and deal with those enemies that are trying to flank, those fast guys. And Klaus is going to shoot on the move here with this uh, Chinese tank and of course miss because it's fucking useless. So, all right, use the armor. Oh, Cromwell, you have two stripes? Uh, you're going to need another stripe. Go back to the garage. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's go get this little guy. Klaus's, uh, Klaus's teammates provided vision down those roads, so Klaus knows that he can safely do this. And hello, hello, let's take another shot on the move. Oh, and hit you. Okay, so look at the minimap. Klaus has line of sight north-south. These guys have line of sight di diagonal. And, and now the 3D fight happens. Oh, it sucks to be you, AMX. You're tracked in the wrong spot. <laughs> So shot one guy above, and now this T-150 has moved below, and he looks like a good player. He's side-scraping like a boss, so Klaus is going to just move in and take a quick shot on his side, or front. There you go. And look at the IS-3 up on the bridge. He missed. Uh, oh, bless his heart, this T-150, Tier 6. Your hat's off to you, buddy. You're actually trying. You're in your heavy tank, but you have no chance. Tier 6s and 7s, no chance versus Klaus now. But forget about that. Let's just kill this guy and look at the minimap. Kill you first. Okay, so there's still uh, players in the clusterfuck corner right here. Now, our scorpion, we have line of sight diagonally. And if those uh, stupids cross the bridge like this, then they're in the intersection and Klaus has shots too, right? Lines of sight on this map. Every time you pull into an intersection like this, IS-3 is just sitting there now. Well, go back to the garage. You see that on the minimap? There's just lines of sight ever. Now this STA-1 is going to flank our AMX-1375. But the whole north is just playing the waiting game still, right? They're just all waiting there still. The Cromwell's doing a good job. He can come around now. Our fast tanks can deal with that STA-1. And uh, Klaus can go around the corner here and try and fight this T-28 prototype. Okay, so yeah, look at the north. They're still sitting in the bushes. And they will wait there all game while most of the fighting happens in the, in the city. Well, most of the killing anyway. Uh, still waiting up there. Now, our fast tanks are moving around. That's pretty good. The Cromwell, the AMX, CDC, 1375. They can actually move around now freely and go flank. Oh, here's the prototype. Track you. To track you, so Klaus has time to reload. Now look at our uh, medium tanks now. The CDC, the AMX, they can go around here and flank. They can stop in the middle and shoot. They have lots of options. Klaus has to deal with this guy and bounce because this Chinese gun is a turd. So Klaus is going to load a heat shell here, first heat shell of the game, to deal with this prototype. And sh oh, hope, hope to, gotta hit the lower plate with the heat shell, did not want to shoot the tracks. Here we go, there you go. And Klaus is pinned. And now look at our AMX CDC, our tanks are moving now. Moving in now, finally in the north they're moving in. And Klaus will get pinned one more time and take him out. And look at the minimap. The northern part has finally pushed across, and this looks like a win. Okay, so it turned out to be a pretty good game. Klaus won cool-headed, steel wall, high caliber, and top gun. Oh, pretty good, look. Block some damage. And uh, team score? Eh, 4,000 damage, 6 kills. Not so bad. Where's that T-150? Where is he? That guy there. You know, hats off to you. You actually, in your tier 6, Tried to fight uh, the 112. Good job, buddy. So, I hope you all enjoyed this map tactic video. And if you want to see more map tactics, just go on Klaus' YouTube channel and look for the playlist called Map Ta Oh, someone on the phone. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Klaus? It's Pierre? Oh, no. Uh, finally, finally, there is Paris French map in game. Yes, yeah. Everybody yeah. know that French map is the best, is the best map 
Eh? Oh, yeah. Ooh, you have to play uh, Himmelsdorf and uh, Murovanka yeah. and uh, a Fire in the Salt. Uh, ooh, it's stupid. They're just stupid maps. Uh, but you have French map. It's the best. Well, Everybody uh, know that. Uh, you, you, you realize, Klaus, there's no American city in Cape. No, there's no New York. San Francisco, uh, and Houston, and Los Angeles, and Boston, Philadelphia. No, 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 they're not again. You know why? Well, you know, they weren't in the war, really. Well, uh, no, no, it's because French cities is best. Everybody know that. Okay, well, goodbye, Pierre. Hello? Hello, Klaus? 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 You, you hang up up here? You, you hang up up here? That's not